And there's a smile you've all been waiting for. Yes, they, it happens. Even when it rains. Even when it rains, she smiles. I smile more when it's sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Technically speaking, according to my YouTube University research, goat is goat. Mutton is sheep that's over a year old because sheep that's under a year old is considered lamb. However, in parts of Jamaica, some people refer to goat as mutton, so that's how it gets interchangeably woven and possibly even confused. There's your goat and mutton lesson for the day. You're welcome. Morning. Went for a walk. Convinced her. No morning. Went for a walk. Convinced her. Yeah, I say one of these days, I'm gonna bring the weed whacker and just whack this part right here. Bring a couple folding chairs and some coffee and enjoy uh, the sunrise. Right? I might do it. I might. You're gonna try the weed whacker, weed whacker. <laughs> just right here. Just put a little pop-up coffee bar right there. Sit yeah, down yeah, and enjoy the sunrise. You know, this is I know, and they'll be like, wow, you really upgraded my property. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's tradition around here, I guess. Yeah. Too soon for racial jokes? I guess so. They come and say, taking away their property and it cause problem. It's just coffee. <laughs> Okay, goodbye view. We'll see you on the other side. All right, a special edition clip today just for you, Sonia and me, together again in front of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, excited about today's adventure. We're going off to buy some Christmas gifts and for the children. And uh, we're gonna spend some time breaking down December's earnings, which technically were earnings from November for our YouTube channel and what we get paid here in December. Because though we haven't gotten the official direct deposit as yet, they do give us a, an idea of what that amount is going to be. And we're gonna share that with you guys so you can know that we appreciate all the views that you give us because that obviously gets us the ad revenue that we can help to apply towards the kids in whatever fashion and obviously this month it's the holiday season so we're going to um, be getting them some some gifts from their wish list that hopefully you saw in the other episode so drum roll please do, 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 do. i don't know nice the total earnings for the month of november is how much is it? It's up okay. There. It's up there. Up there? Yeah. No. Put it there. up there. It's up there. It's also down here. I give her a cheat sheet. How much did we earn from November? Thirty-seven thousand five hundred sixty. What she's trying to say, nice and articulately, is two hundred and forty-one U.S. dollars from ad uh, revenue, which translates to. Give me fun money. Which is. Thirty-seven. 37,560 Jamaican dollars. Now, how is that getting played out? Again, the whole idea of this channel is to be transparent with you guys in knowing that your gift to us is not a, a donation of sorts. It's not sending us anything. It is simply just watching the episodes and allow us, how, allowing us to get ad revenue um, for us to be able to, to help the kids we're working with. So thanks for watching. Here's how December breaks down. Technically, um, there are five paydays for Dave this month um, because there's five Sundays. So he gets $1,000 a month um, for his allowance and his responsibility around the house, both, be both school and a chore. And that obviously five Sundays, $1,000 a month is a total of? That's your cue. 
Good, <laughs> like thousand. So five thousand is going for Dave's allowance um, that he earns through doing chores from the house and getting his homework and or additional homework assignments done that I assign him. So there's Wait, five. No question. It's five thousand dollars a month. It's one thousand dollars a month. One thousand a week. But this December is five Sundays this um, time around, which is yeah. why the pay falls on December. So that's five thousand. Okay. There's also ten days of school because of the winter holiday break. Um, we give Dave 600 a day to get to school and to get a snack and to get home in one piece, <laughs> we hope. Um, so 10 days times 600 per day is? Huh? Wow. 10 days of school, $600 per day. <laughs> 11,000. No. <laughs> 6,000. 6,000, right. So if we take that 6,000 <laughs> and we take the additional 5,000 for the chores, it gives us a total of? 11,000. 11,000. So if we go back to the beginning of the conversation, we made a total of $37,560, subtract 11,000 that we um, have generously provided for Dave, for his well-being and existence for school and whatnot, gives us a remaining balance of? So you're subtracting, right? Yes. Not added. No. So probably about twenty-six thousand. She's got a cheat sheet. Oh. Well, all you have to do is subtract that from that, and then you get twenty-six thousand five hundred and sixty. Nice. Great. I'm still S eating. Sorry. We noticed. Guys. Yeah. I'm hungry. Yeah. Hungry for knowledge. So we have $26,560 that we can use for gifts for the kids this year. Again, because of the ad revenue from you guys watching our channel. Thanks. Um, and there are six kids specifically that we have been interacting with on pretty much a daily basis for most of them. Um, we take that $26,560, we divide it by each of those six kids equally. We get a grand total of how much per kid for Christmas presents? 4400 Nice, you do that in your head? Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> $4,400 per kid for gifts this year. So we're going shopping today and I hope you guys come along with us. It's going to be kind of oh. difficult. I can't show them the exact items that we get, but I'll give you guys an idea and maybe plenty of hints because if the kids watch this episode, which I'm sure they will, um, <laughs> they might find out. So we'll figure out how we're going to play that one. But yeah, um, and we're probably going to contribute a little bit ourselves just because the two holiday gifts this year that the kids are wanting most, if you recall, are Bluetooth headphones and remote control cars. Mm -hmm. They're expensive. Yeah, well, there's cheaper remote control cars that require like AA batteries, but then there's also more expensive ones that have their own rechargeable battery built inside of them. And so I think, and they're a little bit more built for the rough terrain, the Jamaican roads. Um, Whereas the cheaper ones are pretty low to the ground and, and don't have a lot of um, support. support or protection from bumps and bruises and dirt. So, yeah, we're going to go shopping. Yeah. Are you ready? When the rain will up. Yeah, it's raining right now. But after the rain, we're going to go shopping. Yeah, it's raining here in Jamaica hard. Hard. Yeah. Not really hard. It's coming down. It's raining cats and dogs. Do they say that here? There's a lot of things there, so sometimes I don't remember what they said. Hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, once the rain heads yeah. up, let's go shopping. Yeah. Ready? Thank you guys for watching our channel and subscribing and sharing our channel. So I do appreciate it. Although I'm not on it all the time. But thumbs up to you guys. And Merry Christmas. Thanks. <laughs> There's a smile you've all been waiting for. Yes, they, it happens. Even when it rains. Even when it rains, she smiles. I smile more in the sunshine. <laughs> <laughs>
Yep, still waiting. Patiently. Whenever I'm ready. You forgetting something? No, I'm the first. I'm the one key. Okay, thank you for waiting. It was so nice of you. Yeah, yeah so nice of you too. Here we go. Yeah, Okay, well, I'm being serenaded by Miss Sonia here. This is challenging, right? Like, the, for those of us from the US, you know, like, the nuances of gift giving for a group of children. You always internalize all of these potential problems, such as, well, what happens if you don't get the right color? And I said, well, here's the fun part. Like, every thing that we're getting, just about everybody's getting the same technical thing. They want headphones, they want a remote control car. But then you got to worry about like, well, if you get all the same color, then who's going to know whose is whose? And you get all different colors, then who's going to want which color? And then there's another one going to be upset that one got one color and they wanted that color. <sighs> well, Honey, how do you do it? For me, if I'm getting them all the same color, I'm going to write their name on it with a marker. Oh, but I don't uh, want to get them I... all the same color. That way we can't get confused about whose is what. I'd rather they each get their own different color. Yeah, but what if they have no different color than more than the same color? You just write their name on it. Yeah. Said this is yours and this is yours, and nobody can find nobody over it because their name is on it. Even if they get the different color, they still gonna say, "Oh, it's mine and there's mine and yeah, it's for mine." So... Like the, like the um the, year pad. Yeah. With so... one of yellow and the other one of gray and then the much of the one and then you say a few the other ones, so <laughs> it's kind of confusing. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Write their name on it. <laughs> Lesson learned, man. All right, well, we're off to the, the lovely Santa shopping spree. So here we go. Okay, so I'll give you guys a hint. In one of those items that I showed on the shelf, is in the bag. Look. <laughs> walking through town with a big old trash bag full of gifts. And Sonia's, yep. Sonia's got gifts too. I just have mm -hmm. Sonia decided, oh, it's, I gotta get some things for myself. You can't just buy stuff for the children. Did you want a car too? What? Did you want a race car too? No, 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 no. Hmm. I don't want to go race. No. I can't drive yours. Honey, Our we days. tried that. <laughs> we tried that. We were going to no, get her to drive a regular out. car. That didn't work so well. No. Hmm. So maybe, yeah, maybe that's a good place to start. You can start with the RC car and we'll work our way up. Uh -huh. Anyway, I'm going to trudge through Highgate with a big old bag. Yay. And then we're going to go find one more headphones. You ready? Not the same brand. See, I have to get all of the same type of headphones so that nobody complains. I've learned my lesson the hard way sometimes. All right, here we go. Right, good news and bad news. Good news, got all the race cars, I think. Everyone's gonna be happy. 
and we got a headphone the last one that they had so that's good but we couldn't find a phone cases yet and one of them wanted a phone case so we'll keep searching for that mm -hmm. and Sonya didn't get too much stuff either no, <laughs> she'll get them next time don't worry <laughs> Right. Hey. I'm not happy for him, so really. You're welcome. No, You'll thank me later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so interesting thing is here in Jamaica, at least rural Jamaica, if you want to buy wrapping paper, you have to buy it in like a sheet, like just a regular piece of paper rather than a roll that we're so accustomed to. So wasn't able to pick up any wrapping paper today. So unfortunately, there won't be wrapping going on this episode, but all the gifts have been gotten, minus a phone case, they're going to get that, hopefully. And cleverly hidden, as uh, we have to do around here, I'm sure. But they will be under the tree in the relatively near future. But all in all, I'm going to call that trip a success. Bring on the afternoon. <laughs> Back to the farm today. We are digging for rocks. Wasn't sure which tool to grab, but we're gonna go with the fork for now to get some rocks to start looking about building a path throughout the garden. Hopefully the rain holds off. It's been kind of rainy the entire day today, but I'm not gonna complain because that means less sunscreen needed for me. Quick uh, time-lapse tour of the garden, here you go. So, not exactly a huge plan here, but it's a pretty simple process. Fill a bucket full of rocks, move it to a pile that you can start to use to build a path. Seems simple enough, right? If you got any suggestions on how best to do that, or if it's necessary to lay something under the path, I'm not really going to worry too much about it, because if the grass grows on it, well, at least you can mow it down. But yeah, it'd be nice to have a path in here. So, time to dig some rocks. Cue the time lapse. Well, the reality keeps setting in just how bad this backyard is. I thought it'd be maybe a one-to-one -one ratio of rocks to trash, but I finished the first part. It's gonna be the walking path right here. And here's your results. Three spark plugs, a shock, a bunch of bottles. Man, that's the trash. And that's so many rocks. So, wow. Yes, this path is going to be a project, but how do you eat a full pizza one piece at a time? So happy with that progress so far. And we'll, <laughs> we'll just build it like a government project. It'll get done one piece at a time until you run out of energy and then it'll sit there. Either way, it's a good start. Just going to collect some rocks and lay it out and... Let the journey continue, but all we gotta do is tie up a couple uh, of the tomatoes that have since fallen and gardening's done for the day. Sweet. Okay, I guess that's it for today. Although, front runner for peppers. There you are, sir. Ooh, 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 nice. 
and I didn't bring the, I didn't bring the measuring tool but cauliflower soon ready fun part will be is most of these kids never had cauliflower before but I don't know if any of them have so they're like you can eat that raw Whew. all right I'm gonna get ready for homework here we go What's up, sir? <laughs> huh? Good evening. How was school today? Did you go to school today? Of course. Okay. And go in the kitchen for a minute. And tells me he's looking at food. Dave. Oh, he's gone for his yesterday's soda. Yeah, he had to have soda yesterday and then didn't drink it and then he spilled it on his uniform yeah I saw that you're lucky I didn't switch the camera in time to catch that anything exciting in school today too soon we'll come back later hold on he's thinking this this could get great this one mm -hmm. you're really entertained by the story I can <laughs> tell wow dear way to pay attention so, if I were to ask you, what was the biggest thing you learned today, what would you say? Hmm? What's the biggest thing you learned today? Hmm. Conge con comparative oh, adjectives? Yeah. Conjunction? Yeah. Conjunction, junction? Conjunction What's your function? Junction, man. Oh man, that's School of Rock, you don't even know, dude. I know, right? School no, not School of Rock, what is it called? The cartoons from back in the day that you conjunction junction. What's your function? Simple. Uh, I'm still sorry. recording, Dave. You, sorry. Wow. Give a kid some soda, and that's what she gets. Whew, life. If we get more of it, Tana. What? If we get more of it, Tana. No. Eh? Tana, we get that one yesterday. Oh, you get to save it up now? So we have this rule that Dave gets one small glass a day, moderation, and he didn't do it. So he took his yesterday and took like a sip of it and put it in the fridge and drank it today. And now he's telling me he needs more for today because yesterday's doesn't count. <coughs> Dave? Yesterday yeah, But if you forget to drink it, doesn't it count for today? No. This one? Well, why are we not getting more soda than we all know? That sounds like a simple person. Oh, what if we're not yes, getting more soda, what would you do with all soda? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to buy one soda, man. That's your solution? More soda? No, I was going to say drink water. water. Yeah. Go and drink water, Dave. What? Well, water. It's not, it's not fresh. Night. It's refreshing. It's the Just schoolwork. No Oh boy, this is what you did today. Hold on, this is about to get real. Using prepositions with fish. Wait, which page did you do? This one down here? Oh. Oh, conjunctions! That's what you worked on today. So I always love to do the pop quizzes. No. Yeah, no, you not. know it. Me I not. close the book and I say, Dave, what's a conjunction? And he says, <laughs> No, I don't want that. What is a conjunction? <laughs> Dave, what's a conjunction? It, the directions were to underline, underline the correct conjunction. Yes, it. Bracket in each sentence. Oh boy. Okay, so we get a, a homework assignment on conjunctions today. Conjunctions are joining words. They join together words, phrases, cl clauses, or sentences. Conjunction homework tonight. <laughs> because you need it. Wait, I just used a conjunction. No, I didn't. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me use a conjunction. We're going to do a conjunction homework tonight so that, that's the conjunction, so that Dave can learn more about conjunctions. It's a face of positivity right there. Sweet.
And just like that, the man of the hour is here. Hello. It's Junior. Yeah. Junior, how was school today? Hi. What did you learn today? Hold on. So for the people at home, Junior just said, Miss did a something day. Which basically means, Miss did something. Which basically means, absolutely nothing. Let's try again. What? Me, me never did do no work to the car, Miss. Hold on. Me never did do no work today. Which means, I didn't do any work today. Let's continue. Go ahead. Me never do no work today. We got that part already. I do work today. And me never. Hold on, let the man dance. Me never. Do not work on this day. I make project. We figure out the next figure. Today we go in and end up with the wind. See, we don't dance. We don't dance. We don't dance. All right, goodbye. We'll what see you later. What kind of present? What kind of present? Okay, trophy. Snap. I'm doing the wall. Get it dirty enough for your wall. Junior. That's Junior. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so you might be asking sometime, like how does Dave earn his allowance when he doesn't get any homework? Well, nice thing is, is I get to go on the computer and print off a one pager, like that's our rule, like a one pager of front and back of whatever I feel is current understanding of the world and the concepts that we're covering and based on what he went on for class. So today, Looks like we're going with conjunctions, and he told me he wanted to practice adding decimals. So, I mean, a teacher's dream, a kid like telling you, this is what I want to work on. So I'm gonna print that and get it to him and cool. Not gonna lie, like every parent, you know, I have to have an answer key, and so rather than solving the problems myself, I don't print it, but I take a picture of the answer key, so <laughs> we have it just in case, you know, they struggle with sixth grade math. There I was just working away, and <laughs> guess who showed up? I know. Oh boy. Andre, come here. What's up? Hey, oh. How was school today? Good. What was good about it? Huh? Yeah? Uh, I ate up there. Uh huh. I got And you take your finger out of your mouth so we can understand what you're saying. Then, I put it on your hand. Can you use your then, big boy voice? Then, my tongue. You did. We waved this morning, didn't we? Yeah, that was nice of you, man. I appreciate it. And then, then I went up the road. Mm -hmm. Then the taxi reach and I go to school and I play for a little, little bit. And then what happened? Then the washing time. Oh, okay. Then I go to class and I do homework. What did you do today for work? I do homework. <laughs> what kind of homework? Writing. What kind of writing? Write. What'd you write? Letter. Nice. Cool. Then what? Then my real teacher showed up. Mm, that's then always good. Then 
to do with a test. Then, then I'll go play for a test. How do you do? Then. Mm -hmm. Then I look for my alphabet name and search uh -huh. for me. And then the next one. What the numbers? Mm -hmm. What? Then. <laughs> then. Then I. Um, um, then you went home. No. Now we did more. And then we all lived happily ever after, right? Then I fell on my yard. Yeah. I know, I went to the garden without you today, dude. I You saw? Yeah, I see you. What was I doing? I was taking up pigs. I was taking up trash and, and rocks, man. There, that's better. All right, math or language arts? What? Yeah. Math or language arts? Math? This. Yes, that is, so well, which one do you want to do first? The easy one or the hard one? The other one. All right. Which one I hard one? Well, for me, they're both easy, but for you, probably language arts is harder. Do the harder one first? Of course. Of course. That's the face of positivity right there. Andre, you all done? Yeah, I'll bye bye. Tell him good night. Good night. See you next time. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Yeah.
See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you.